Dear listeners, tonight I will take you on a journey back in time to an ancient Rome where we will discover the story of a fearless warrior, yet also a delicate soul, searching for a place in a land dominated by power and intrigue. Sit comfortably, close your eyes, and let your hearts be carried away by the magic of words and the charm of times long past, where courage and honor clash under the watchful eyes of the gods, and where a young heroine carves her path towards legend. The Shield of the Goddess of War In a time when the gods still walked among men and fate was woven by divine hands, Rome raised its majestic hills to the sky, like a city of legends and great stories. In this land of power and glory, where every pebble of the pavement echoed the steps of heroes of old, Young Valeria lived her days with a passion and determination rarely seen. Every morning, when the first rays of the sun slipped over Rome's rooftops, Valeria was already on the training field. Her gleaming sword caught the morning light, and her gaze fixed on the horizon was a mix of courage and determination. It wasn't just about training, every movement of the sword, Every precisely executed strike was the expression of a deep ambition that far exceeded the desire to become just a warrior. Valeria wanted to be more than just a cog in a war machine. She wanted to be a symbol, a beacon of light in the darkness that seemed to engulf the city of the Seven Hills. Rome was a city of grandeur but also of deep shadows. Power brought with it an insatiable thirst for more, and this thirst seeped into the souls of those who aspired to greatness, corrupting and distorting everything in its path. Valeria had noticed this from childhood. Raised in a family of soldiers, she had seen her brothers and fathers succumb to the honors and promises of power that came with every victory. Deep inside, Valeria felt that true honor did not reside in conquests, but in protecting the innocent, in ensuring that power was used with wisdom and justice. One night, after a long day of training and troubling thoughts, Valeria felt an inexplicable pull toward the Colosseum. The Colosseum was a place full of memories and histories, but that night, it seemed more than just a monument of grandeur and cruelty. It seemed to hide a mystery, an ancient secret buried in the stone that had breathed blood and bow cries. Curious and at the same time uneasy, Valeria took her cloak and set out for the immense arena, guided by an unknown force. The Colosseum seemed like a labyrinth at night, its vast shadow darkening the sky and making her steps resonate like the equation of time. Valeria wandered among the imposing columns, feeling every pulse of history under her feet. Every stone seemed to whisper tales of old, stories of gladiators and beasts, of victory and defeat. But behind these whispers, Valeria felt something else, something deeper and older. Finally, her steps led her to a hidden part of the arena, where the walls seemed older, more eroded by time. Here, in a corner where the moonlight barely penetrated, Valeria discovered the inscription. It was hard to decipher, the words nearly eroded by time, but clear enough to catch the attention of a trained eye. With fingers trembling slightly, Valeria traced the ancient lines, reading the words that took her breath away. The shield of the goddess of war, absolute power, invincibility, destruction, or salvation. Valeria felt a cold shiver down her spine. It wasn't just a simple legend, but a promise and a warning engraved in stone by unknown hands. This discovery left her in a state of deep contemplation. Something inside her knew that this shield was not meant for just anyone, that it was not an object to be used lightly. 
It was a responsibility, a test of character. At the same time, she felt an almost irresistible call to find it. Not for herself, but for what it could mean for Rome, for what it could bring to her people. The following days were spent in a state of inner turmoil. Valeria thought of the inscription in the Colosseum with every sword strike, with every step taken during training. Although she wanted to share the discovery with someone, a deep instinct told her to keep silent. That night had changed the course of her life. She was no longer just a soldier seeking glory, but had become a pioneer of a much greater mission. A mission that could change the fate of Rome forever. But, as fate would soon reveal to her, she was not the only one who knew about the existence of this legendary shield. Rome's intrigues were deep, and power corrupted even the highest spheres of leadership. A secret group of senators, led by the enigmatic and ambitious Caius, was just as interested in the shield. Caius was not an ordinary man, he represented the essence of brute power, a creature of politics who wanted to turn Rome into an empire ruled by his absolute will. He had also heard of the legend of the shield and knew that if he could get his hands on it, he could turn Rome into what he considered an invincible empire, but under his tyrannical rule. In a world where alliances were fragile and betrayal was the order of the day, Valeria had to be more vigilant than ever. It was no longer just about the search for a legendary artifact, but about a fight for the soul of Rome. A fight between those who saw power as a means of oppression and those who, like her, saw power as a responsibility to protect and serve. Determined to reach the shield of the goddess of war first, Valeria meticulously prepared for her expedition, aware of the dangers that awaited her. The journey to the island of volcanoes was not just a simple crossing of the sea, but a test of will and courage, a confrontation with nature itself, wild and unpredictable. But Valeria was ready to face it all to achieve her noble goal with a heart full of hope and determination. As her ship left the port of Rome, the salty sea air carried the tension of an adventure that would change the course of destiny. With her hands clenched on the edge of the deck, Valeria gazed at the horizon with scrutinizing eyes. Every wave rising on the sea seemed to whisper a warning. The sea had its own will, and Valeria knew it would not make her journey easy. It wasn't long before the sky began to darken, and the waves became larger and more threatening. The wind intensified its breath, and the once clear sky filled with dark, heavy clouds. The sailors she traveled with knew a storm was coming, and their fear was palpable. Valeria, however, did not lose her courage. She remembered all the difficult moments in her life, all the battles she had thrown herself into without fear, and she knew this was just another test, one that would test not only her physical strength, but also her faith in her mission. The storm broke with unstoppable fury. Huge waves rose like colossal walls of water, threatening to engulf the ship, while lightning pierced the sky like fiery arrows. Every thunderclap echoed deep within her, as if the sea itself was a terrifying adversary. The sailors clung to ropes and masts, shouting orders and prayers, but nothing seemed to calm the unleashed fury of nature. Valeria, despite the chaos around her, remained calm. She knew that if she gave in to fear, she would lose everything. In the midst of the storm, her mind cleared, and for a moment, she felt one with the sea. She remembered the words of the inscription, which warned that those who seek power will find destruction, only those who seek the truth will find salvation. 
These words guided her steps and reminded her that, in this journey, it wasn't just about reaching the destination, but about understanding what power and sacrifice truly mean. After what seemed like endless hours, the storm subsided as quickly as it had come. The sky brightened, and the waves began to calm. Valeria, wet and exhausted, but with her spirit intact, looked around. The ship had survived, but not without scars. The sailors were exhausted, but grateful to be alive. Valeria felt she had passed the first test, but she knew the greatest challenges were yet to come. In the following days, the journey continued at a calmer pace, but the tension did not disappear. Every day, Valeria felt she was getting closer to her destination, but also to something unknown, to a hidden danger. As they approached the island of volcanoes, the atmosphere grew heavier, and an unseen pressure seemed to weigh on everyone. One evening, as the sun was setting, Valeria met an old sailor who told her about the mysterious island. The island of volcanoes is not an ordinary place, he said in a whispering voice, as if afraid his words might awaken the spirits. It's a place where fire meets water, where the earth opens to let flames rise from the depths. Many have tried to reach it, but few have returned. Be careful, young Valeria, for the island tests not only the body, but also the soul. The old man's words lingered in Valeria's mind like a shadow that followed her. But instead of discouraging her, they strengthened her resolve. She knew that every step forward brought her closer to the truth and that this journey was a battle not only with external forces but also with her own fears and ambitions. As the ship approached the island, the landscape changed dramatically. In the distance, Valeria saw the black smoke rising from the volcanoes and heard the deep murmurs of the earth that seemed to echo through the air. It was as if the island itself was a living being, breathing slowly but threateningly. But before Valeria could set foot on the island, her journey was interrupted by a new danger. From the depths of the sea, strange and terrifying creatures began to rise, attacking the ship with unprecedented fury. These creatures were like mythical beings, with scaly bodies and eyes that glowed in the dark. The sailors cried out in terror, trying to fend them off with spears and swords, but they were fast and agile, disappearing under the water and returning with even greater force. Valeria threw herself into the fight with courage, wielding her sword with a mastery acquired through years of training. Every strike was precise, but at the same time, her mind worked feverishly, trying to understand what was attracting these creatures. Was it the island? Was it the shield? Or was it her, an intruder in a world that did not want to be discovered? In the midst of the battle, another mysterious figure appeared on the deck. A young man with deep eyes and a calm presence, despite the chaos around him. He raised his hands toward the furious creatures, speaking unknown words in an ancient language. Almost miraculously, the creatures stopped their attack and retreated into the depths, leaving the ship in peace. The young man turned to Valeria and smiled slightly. You are not alone in this journey, Valeria, he said, with a gentle but firm voice. In this world, allies and enemies are not always what they seem. Trust your path, but be prepared to face truths you may not want to know. Valeria, although grateful for the help, felt that his words hid a deeper meaning. But there was no time for questions, for the island was already looming before them, and every moment counted. 
As they approached the shore, Valeria felt the tension had increased that something immense and powerful awaited her. But instead of fear, she felt unwavering determination. She knew this journey was not just about finding the shield, but about finding herself, the power that lay within her and needed to be unleashed. When Valeria set foot on the island of volcanoes, an intense wave of heat enveloped her, as if the earth itself was struggling to breathe under the weight of the fire from its depths. The island was a strange place, of wild and dangerous beauty, where every stone seemed to pulse with energy, and the air was heavy with the thick smoke that floated like a poisonous fog. No sound of birds, no breeze disturbed the oppressive silence. It was a place of almost terrifying quiet, where nature itself seemed to know that a crucial moment was approaching, a turning point in the course of destiny. The path to the heart of the island was full of dangers, but Valeria did not turn back. With every step, she felt the tension in the air increasing, as if the island itself was testing her courage and determination. The ground was warm under her feet, and sometimes, at the edge of the path, small cracks let out hot steam that seemed to whisper warnings forgotten by time. Soon, she reached the edge of an immense crater, from which a column of black smoke rose. Here, in an open pit toward the Earth's depths, was the legendary sanctuary hidden for centuries from the eyes of mortals. The sanctuary was not large but imposing in its simplicity and the power it emanated. It was carved directly into the volcanic rock with simple and severe lines as if time itself had not managed to erode it. In the middle of the sanctuary, on a pedestal of black stone, was the shield of the goddess of war, shining faintly in the light that penetrated the dense smoke. Valeria paused for a moment, trying to calm the heartbeat that pounded in her ears. She felt the shield's power pulling her, but also a deep fear, as if she was approaching an invisible limit, a point beyond which there was no return. She knew she was not alone on the island, that danger lurked in the shadows, but that did not stop her. With determined steps, she approached the shield, feeling the air around her grow heavier. And then, from the shadow of the volcano, Caius appeared. His cold and calculating gaze betrayed a mix of satisfaction and cruelty, as if he knew this moment belonged to him. Valeria, he said with a calm but threatening voice, do not be afraid. I am not here to harm you, but to free you from the burden of a decision you cannot understand. Valeria raised her gaze to him, but said nothing. She knew any word would be useless. Caius was there for one thing, absolute power. He believed that by possessing the shield, he could shape Rome according to his will, turning it into an empire under his tyrannical rule. Give me the shield, Valeria, Caius continued, approaching slowly, with outstretched hands, like a predator who knows the prey has nowhere to run. Together, we can make Rome invincible. Think about it, the power to change the world at your feet. But Valeria did not move. At that moment, she felt a powerful presence, a shiver that ran through her body, and she knew that the goddess of war was there, watching over her decision. In a moment of revelation, Valeria understood that the shield was not just a simple object, a tool of power. It was a symbol, a test of the choice between destruction and salvation. If she gave in to the temptation to use the shield to confront her enemies, she would become exactly what she was trying to stop. Caius, seeing her hesitation, hardened his tone. Do not delude yourself, Valeria. 
there is no way back. Power is all that matters. The weak die, the strong lead. Give me the shield, and I will offer you a place by my side in the new Rome. As Caius spoke, the volcano began to show signs of activity. The ground trembled slightly, and small pieces of lava began to emerge from the crater. The fire from the depths seemed to awaken as if responding to the conflict unfolding before it. Valeria looked at the shield and felt that presence again, that deep call that whispered to her that true power did not lie in domination but in sacrifice. With a sudden movement, Valeria grabbed the shield and turned toward Caius. But instead of attacking him, she raised her voice, full of determination and clarity. Your power is an illusion, Caius. True strength comes from protecting those who cannot protect themselves. I will not let this shield become a tool of destruction. Caius froze for a moment, surprised by her refusal, but his fury quickly turned into an explosion of violence. He lunged at her with unexpected ferocity, trying to snatch the shield from her hands. Valeria fought with all her strength, every movement a blend of technique and instinct. The ground shook under their feet, and the volcano continued to agitate as if nature itself was responding to their confrontation. Their fight became increasingly intense, each knowing that not just the island's fate, but all of Rome's hung in the balance. In the midst of this chaos, Valeria again felt that call, that profound awareness that the shield's power was not meant for conquest, but for protection. With a final effort, Valeria broke free from Caius' grip and rose, holding the shield close to her chest. I will not allow this shield to become a weapon of tyranny, she declared with determination, and her words echoed through the volcano's crater. Caius, realizing he could not defeat Valeria's resolve, understood that despite all his plans, he could not win. Defeated and with hatred shining in his eyes, Caius took a step back, watching as Valeria maintained control over the shield. At that moment, the ground trembled again, this time with much greater intensity. The volcano, which had until now been a silent witness to the confrontations between Valeria and Caius, began to agitate more and more. The ground trembled beneath their feet, and thick smoke rose in dense columns toward the sky, covering the sunlight and turning day into an apocalyptic night. The deep rumbling of the rising magma, sounding like a murmur from the Earth's core, foretold an inevitable and terrible end. Valeria, with the shield gleaming in her hands, looked around. She felt the extraordinary power of the shield, but knew that power was not meant for destruction. Before her, Caius and his men watched the scene with fear and disbelief, realizing for the first time that not only Valeria, but their entire existence was in danger. If the volcano were to erupt completely, it would leave nothing behind, turning the island into a grave of lava and ash. With her heart beating wildly, Valeria again felt the presence of the goddess of war, like a gentle breeze that touched her soul. It was a call, a subtle guide revealing the true nature of the shield's power. It was not meant to subjugate or conquer, but to protect. At that moment, Valeria understood that she had to make a choice. She could use the shield to destroy Caius and his men, to end the evil they represented, but at the same time, she would unleash the destructive forces of the volcano, sacrificing everything. But Valeria was not just a simple warrior. She understood, 
perhaps better than anyone, that true power did not lie in physical strength or in victory over an opponent, but in personal sacrifice, in protecting the innocent. Thus, with determination, Valeria knelt before the shield, and with a voice that resonated powerfully in the tense silence, she invoked its power. Her prayer was simple but profound, a plea to the divine forces to save the island, the people, and the future of Rome. The shield began to vibrate slightly, emanating a bright light that intensified with every moment. The energy emitted from the shield was tangible, like a warm caress that spread from the center of the island to every corner of it. Under Valeria's feet, the ground began to stabilize, and the deafening noise of the volcano gradually faded. Around the crater, the magma, which had started to rise threateningly, stopped as if held back by an invisible force. The hot lava, which was already making its way to the surface, was stopped by a barrier of light created by the shield's power. That barrier was not just physical but also spiritual. It was like an invisible but impenetrable shield that protected the island and all who were on it. As the shield's energy spread, nature began to respond to this supreme sacrifice. The fire from the depths seemed to be tamed, and the dense smoke began to dissipate, giving way to an unusual calm. Caius and his men, witnesses to this miracle, no longer had the strength to fight. The fear and respect for what they saw before them paralyzed them, turning them into mere spectators of an act of heroism that surpassed any understanding. With every passing second, Valeria felt the shield's energy consuming her. The power she had invoked was not just a simple act of magic, but an offering of her life for the good of others. Every fiber of her being was used to maintain that barrier, to protect the island from imminent destruction. Yet Valeria felt no fear or regret. She knew she was doing what was necessary, that the salvation of others was more important than her own life. Deep inside, she felt a peace and clarity she had never known before. As the volcano's forces were calmed, Valeria felt her body beginning to give way. The light of the shield, which had been so strong, began to fade gradually as her vital energy drained into the earth that had protected everyone. Valeria raised her gaze to the sky, feeling the presence of the goddess of war for the last time, like a blessing for her sacrifice. The goddess, though invisible, seemed to smile at her gently, acknowledging her choice and honoring her noble spirit. Caius, who had watched everything with wide eyes, realized he had been defeated not by force, but by something much more powerful, courage and sacrifice. In the face of this supreme act of altruism, his ambitions crumbled, and the power he would have given anything for became meaningless. As Valeria fell to her knees, nearly exhausted, the shield slowly faded, leaving behind a quiet island, saved from nature's fury. Caius' men, who had seen everything, no longer had the courage to raise their weapons. They were overwhelmed by what they had witnessed, by the nobility of this sacrifice that had saved their lives. One by one, they laid down their arms and approached Valeria, not as enemies, but as people who recognized the value of an unparalleled act of generosity. With her last strength, Valeria lifted her gaze, and with a slight smile on her lips, realized she had fulfilled her purpose. The volcano had calmed, the island was safe, and above all, Rome now had a new symbol, not a conquest and power, but a peace and protection. In that moment, Valeria knew her sacrifice had not been in vain. In the following days, 
the news of Valeria's sacrifice spread throughout the empire. Rome, which had always been obsessed with power and conquest, was deeply moved by her story. Valeria became a symbol of honor and courage, and the shield she had protected at the cost of her life was brought to Rome and placed in the capital. Not as a war trophy, but as a symbol of peace and protection. And so, Rome learned that true power lies not in conquests, but in protecting the innocent. Valeria's sacrifice forever changed the course of history, offering an example of nobility and heroism that endures to this day, a beacon of light in the darkness that can sometimes envelop the hearts of men. And that, dear listeners, was the legend of the shield of the goddess of war. A story of courage, sacrifice, and the true power that springs from the hearts of those who choose to protect, not to destroy. So, remember that behind every choice may be a hidden hero, and in every corner of shadow, a legend waiting to be revealed. Until next time, may you have sweet dreams and be carried by magical adventures every night, where dreams and stories meet. <laughs>